are making a mockery of our Reich! Execute them! Unless... Unless what? Unless they can sing a charming musical number. Song and dance. Musical numbers aren't uncommon in animated sitcoms these days, and Family Guy is no exception. Thank you for viewing Nerd Nation's Top 7, and today we count down our Top 7 picks for spontaneous musical numbers in Family Guy. You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have caught it when For this list, we're only including original scores created for the show that are most memorable and not existing songs produced by someone else. Sorry, Surfing Bird. I'll set the mood. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird's the word. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird. Kicking off our list is the song that inspired an entire high school to give up getting high. When the students at James Woods High discover they can get high by licking toads, it soon becomes an epidemic, and it's up to Peter to save the day. Hey man, cool specs. Thanks, G. I'm the new kid in town, Lando Griffin. Donning the persona Lando Griffin, he infiltrates the school and thanks to this musical number, inspires the kids to give up their druggy ways. Give it up. Give up the toad now. Thanks to you, and don't give it up. Gotta give up the toad now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm no fool. Cool. Yeah! Of course though, in classic Peter Habit, he takes the role too far when he starts to become the popular guy at school. He gets invited to the prom by his daughter Meg, only to bail on her when he's asked to the dance by the popular girl at school, Connie. After Quagmire gets a new cat, he soon drives the guys insane with his annoying obsession. Oh, finally! Come on, come on, come on inside! Well, what is it? What's a big damn deal? Look. It's a cat. After a failed prank by Peter, it's up to him to dispose of the cat's body. While stopped by the cops, Brian gets caught with a small bag of pot and finds it hard to believe that marijuana is looked down so harshly. Pot! Small amount of pot! You're under arrest, dirtbag! Oh, come on! Coming in at our number six is a song Stewie sang at Brian's gathering to rally the crowd in support of weed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A bag of weed, a bag of weed, oh, everything is better with a bag of weed. It's the only help that you'll ever need because everything is better with a bag of weed. There you go, you're all getting it now. This song number gets almost the whole town involved and they immediately legalize pot, a decision they soon regret when productivity drops to none. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. L let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie Williams, Williams with a black you weather, weather forecast. forecast. At number five is a song used to build up Chris for his date with the girl of his dreams. During a trip to the wilderness, Chris runs off with Stewie and the two get lost for weeks. During their time out there, they both vow to do things they would previously not do out of fear. I'm gonna finally run for public office again. I think people have forgotten my last embarrassment. Chris vows if he survives, he will ask out this girl he's had a crush on, but was too nervous to talk to. She agrees, but Chris gets nervous anyways, and is about to chicken out when Stewie comes to the rescue with this song and dance number. You wanna take that little whore and spin her on the dancing floor, but boy, before you do a single twirl, you must impress that effervescing, self-possessing, no BSing down syndrome girl. It's only after their date, though, that Chris finds out the girl of his dreams is really a nightmare. You better pay the proper tribute. All right, that is it. I don't care how hot you are. I don't much like being treated this way. Love doesn't stray far from Chris, though, when he finds himself head over heels over a new black man in town, Jerome's daughter. The idea of Jerome's little girl dating a white boy is one he's none too pleased about, and Peter takes it upon himself to show Jerome why being white is such a great thing in this offensive musical number touting all the great things white people have contributed and why he should thank us. Add to that a fleet of soccer moms packed into their yoga tights 
And so for all this awesome, neat, wonderful stuff, you know you don't thank the Lord, you thank the whites. It's hard to tell, though, who should be more offended, as this song includes mundane to poor examples of white contributions, such as fluorescent lights and women with tiny asses. Even Justin Bieber is thrown in there. Hello, sir. Enough with the foreplay, sailor. What are you selling? <laughs> well, I was going to try to sell you some handsome cream, but I can see you already bought out the store. Go on. At number three is a song that was in part credited to the only episode banned from Cartoon Network, but still shown on Fox. After some financial problems, and falling victim to a volcano insurance scam, Peter wishes upon a star for a Jew to come and save him, in this very stereotypical song. Though by many they're abhorred, Hebrew people I've adored, even though they killed my lord, I need a Jewish man named Weinstein who helps him untangle his financial knots. Peter takes things too far when he tries to force Chris to become Jewish in the hopes that it will make him smarter. Perhaps a whole episode devoted to reinforcing the stereotype that all Jewish people are smart and good with money was a bit too far for Cartoon Network as this became the only episode that was banned from Adult Swim. There was an abortion episode too that was never shown. But that was banned from Fox as well, so we'll consider that one straight to DVD for the U.S. Oh, uh, sir, we're wondering what course of action you recommend regarding the Hyde Pierce incident. You've got to censor television, you fools! Now follow my orders! Next up on our list is a song used to give the middle finger to all censorship. Fed up with censorship on television, Peter takes in his own hands to create his own television station, vowing to give watchers the TV they want, presented in its original format without all the bleeps, bars, and changes. Hi there, I'm Peter Griffin, and you're watching PTV, where you get to watch your favorite shows as nature intended them, with all the sex, violence, swearing, and farts intact. After a short, successful run, Peter sings this musical number, F the FCC, when the prospect of his station being shut down by the FCC comes up. So they sent this little warning, they're prepared to do their worst, and they stuck it in your mailbox hoping you could be coerced. I can think of quite another place they should have stuck it first. They may just be neurotic, or possibly psychotic, they're the fellas at the freaking FCC. Of course, in classic Family Guy traditions, the FCC agents show up right at the end of the song and not only shut down his station, but also censor real life. Before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions. When you drink enough, of my beer you will find this magic rule make your every joke a jewel you'll drive drunker than oxana coming in at number one is a song about christmas after he feels snuffed by Santa at the mall, Stewie takes a trip along with the not-so-willing Brian up to the North Pole to give Santa a piece of his mind by blowing out a piece of his. It's when they get there that they find out Santa is not only real, but not quite what they expected. Oh my god! You're... you're Santa Claus! Yeah, who are you? I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm going to kill you! Unlike most Christmas songs about holly, bells, and giving, this duet of Stewie and Santa Claus sings about the horror Santa goes through each and every winter season. While most songs and episodes of Family Guy have some undertone of a social message, Christmas Time is Killing Us delves right into a big problem in American society with our blatant greed and the constant need to go bigger each and every year with gifts. Each jingle bell is a requiem bell, and well, you think it's swell, we are toiling in hell. Take a look, you can tell, as a man I must yell. 
Christmas, Christmas time is killing us. Killing us! Christmas time is killing us. So what did you think of our list? Whatever. Damn it, will you two just get in the fucking time machine? Do you have a favorite song and dance number that wasn't on here? Please leave your comments below and be sure to come back for more top seven lists and thanks for watching. Thank you.